both of us are talking to people in the legacy reverse engineering and crash retrieval program, the program that the Pentagon denies exists. I guess I feel a sense of futility that when you've got direct first-hand witness evidence like yours, and it's blatantly, willfully ignored by Arrow's investigation and egregiously misrepresented to Congress, what what hope is there? I mean, they're just blatantly lying to the executive arm of government. Yes, and to the congressional branch. That's exactly what they're doing. That is a profound problem of the national security state, Ross. The, the whole the whole national security state apparatus that was set up by the National Security Act in 1947 over the course of the past uh, 80 years has, has basically garnered unto itself the authority to lie to Congress, to lie to Congress, to lie to the president, to lie to the American people, to un- undertake full scale propaganda campaigns, uh, to to lie to the people of the country. Uh, you know, and, and they got caught doing it. They got caught doing it in the Pentagon Papers. They got caught doing it in Watergate. They got caught doing it in Iran Contra. Uh, and the fact is, there were one set of hearings, the Senator Frank Church uh, Select Committee on Intelligence Abuse hearings, where they exposed a lot of that, uh, and they set up the the intelligence committees uh, to try to rein this in. Uh, and the fact of the matter is that the intelligence committees are not doing their job. Uh, they they need to hold public hearings and have the public testimony presented so the American people know what's happening here. Uh, in that they need to take further steps to enforce their rules and regulations. Uh, you know, I just had a conversation with the president, uh, incoming president of the University of Washington Law School, uh, and she said the way this thing is presently operating, it's just a question of who's got more power. You know, whether the national security state has more power than the constitution government, uh, the constitutional government of our country. That's the situation that we're faced with here, and that's what's being surfaced here in this UFO issue.